I can be down. I can get money on the internet by just talking about Philly. I'm dead serious. I don't walk around. I know so much about Philly that you wouldn't fucking believe. You don't have no idea who I know. I did most of my life incarcerated. From juvenile, I got certified as an adult. I was in all them juvie homes. I know a lot of y'all looking at me like, damn, that's Millie, man, what's up? You know what I mean, what's up to you niggas? But yeah, I was in all them juvie homes. Um, Tressler, Vision Quest, I did a lot of tick up VQ. I was up, uh, VQ with uh, Oskino. We just, you know, we talked about that recently. He was a younger nigga. Now, I mean, he was a, he probably was in a different TP. His name was um, Omar. We was we was there at the same time. I was in Vision Quest. Um, I was in Slayton Farms for like a day. Uh. I did a lot of time, did a lot of motherfucking time, did a lot of motherfucking time, word. And, uh, I met all of the famous gangsters from Philly, because I was a basketball star in the penitentiary. I was a celebrity basketball star in the penitentiary, word. Every jail I went to, I tore shit up. Like my NCAA years, the years I should have been in, you know, in Division One, playing Division One basketball. I was in the penitentiary killing grown men. <laughs> I got there when I was like 18. I was killing niggas, yo. I was jumping out the gym, dunking on niggas. Scored a lot of points. I played a retreat. I played in State Boots, I played down Camp Hill, I played down Western. <coughs> I met all the famous niggas from Philly, cause they every they all hung on the basketball court. Like a lot of Philly niggas can hoop. Even the ones that can't hoop, they'll still be out there trying to fuck around and you know, niggas hung up they hang on the basketball courts in the in the state penitentiaries in PA. All the bullshit, you know what I mean? All the you know the, what's going on popping, you know what I mean, like, everything that's going on, the gambling, like, the hustling, gotta walk up to the hoop court, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, as soon as they call the yard, walk straight up to the hoop court, see what's popping, even if you ain't playing basketball, you gotta go up there, see who up there, the nigga that you looking for, he up there, the niggas you need to talk to, they up there, they up on the hoop court, but anyway, everybody hangs on the fucking hoop court in the penitentiary, and I used to be out there doing my fucking thing. And I'm from a small city, I'm from Erie, PA. And it was a big thing that I, I could hoop. You know what I'm saying? It was a, I wasn't the only one from Erie that could play, but it was a big thing that I was a killer. You know what I mean? It's the difference between hooping and being a killer. You know what I'm saying? On the court, I was a known killer. You know what I'm saying? Reputation. Wherever I go, niggas pointing and shit like that. Everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, I was a known killer. So whenever a, a killer from Philly came, got transferred to the jail. It used to be killers in the hole. Niggas be in the hole for six months, a year. I'm out there killing niggas. They like, yeah, wait until wait until such and such get out the hole. Wait until Manny Strong get out the hole, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Wait till this nigga get out the hole. He got something for your ass, nigga. You only from Erie. Erie. That's how they say it. You from Erie, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing. Then I go out there and drop 30 on them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is all true shit. You know what I'm saying? This gonna be in the comments. Because I'm starting to get bigger in Philly and shit. I'm starting to be more visible down there. All the niggas I hoop with, they gonna start showing up shortly. And... A lot of these niggas that I hoop with and I did time with, they went on to be big dudes in Philly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, word, I know some major figures <laughs> in Philly. Believe me, 
And uh, that's how I started my career as far as filming rap superstars. A lot of my early connections derived, in, you know what I mean, from Philly. Connections I have in the penitentiary, like, I would go down there and get with some niggas that I was in jail with, and the niggas, the stars of Philly, the rap stars, they be like, man, I know that nigga, like, I, that Kenny, you know what I'm saying? I went to school with him, Kenny Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's Emilio Sparks, you niggas don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was running into situations like that, you know what I'm saying? Like. Niggas I did time with knew these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done met Daryl Shuler. I done met Sadiq. You know what I'm saying? Because of these penitentiary connections and shit. You know what I mean? Like, but anyway, I'm going to continue to dominate this Philly hip-hop, urban media, hip-hop shit. And I'm going to cheat. You know how I'm going to cheat? I'm gonna talk about shit that happened in the joint. I'm gonna talk about street shit. I'm gonna talk about Philly. You know what I mean? And I know y'all want that. Y'all love that. Y'all love when niggas talk about how rowdy y'all is. How crazy y'all is. How much y'all niggas bust y'all gun and shit. You know what I mean? How many niggas y'all kidnap and shit like that. You know what I mean? Y'all like that shit. Y'all want Philly to be on the map. I got you niggas. So, this is Gully TV. I don't care how nobody feel. We on the bullshit. It's Gully TV. But, follow me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV. It's on. I'm on my Philly bullshit. Whoa.